What's up, everybody? It's Stephen A. Williams, president and founder of thecreditrepairshop.com. And, uh, well, this was an email that had been sent to me by the debt portfolio sellers. These are people, uh, companies, that buy debt from uh, original creditors. And as you can see here, you can see the names of the two that they purchased them from. This is the email that they sent. Uh, it says one paid in full account will get your money back so you can see the game or the strategy that they're uh, playing for this so we see here is uh it says that the principal balance five million dollars and uh 764 counts the charge off date average charge off date is 2009 when they say average that means that it's going to be 2009 and earlier not 2009 2010 because they would state that because they would want to make the portfolio show that it's, it's in it show itself in the best light um the average balance is six thousand five hundred forty four dollars and they're selling the complete the complete package for five thousand dollars so in that image uh i think that was the guy from home home alone back then uh, that's the image I did not put that there that's what they placed in there all I'm doing is showing you uh, the, how they you know I guess this is their inner games that they uh, play with each other but this is the direct email so now what we what you need to do what you need to do is number one is that you have to make sure that this debt is legal to collect so the way to do that is to check your credit reports if you don't have your credit reports you need to go to the website your the number three score.com and get all three uh I, and you got to do that because you want to see what they're saying about the well what the original creditor stated and you got to be careful because some of the times they do not show the same information on all three so you need it's well worth it if they can come after you and have you pay sixty five hundred dollars when you it, because you didn't know you didn't have to pay it or what if they got you to you know pay half of it when you didn't even have to pay it that means that if you paid one penny you overpaid for it so go get your credit reports go to the website that i recommend that will show all three and uh see when the original charge off date from these two companies were if you happen to get one from these two or from any other original creditor that a debt collector had purchased if it's past the legal statute of limitations and that's step number two is you go and you see what is the legal statute of limitations for this type of debt which is credit card debt it's going to if you go to my blog it's going to be on the fourth column and you will see what's the legal statute of limitations for them to collect the debt from you. And if it's past that statute of limitations uh, time frame, which for everyone except for one state has, uh, a few states have a 10 year, most states gonna have a four year when it comes to credit card debt, uh, and one state has a 15 year uh, statute of limitations. If it's past the legal statute of limitations, you only have to send one simple letter. You don't need to argue about the debt. You just send them a simple letter saying, hey, this debt is past the legal statute of limitations for you to collect, and you need to cease all collection activities because I know it. Uh, I give you that letter for free. It's, the link is below this video. You send that letter to them. They will stop. They will send your letter. Maybe apologize. And if they continue, then you can get a lawyer to sue them over uh doing breaking the law doing that if it is not past the legal statute of limitations now all of this debt would be for most people i'm getting into it if your specific debt where a debt collector is trying to collect from you is not past the legal statute of limitations then i want you to send the next letter which i give you the link below which is a cease and desist all collection activities letter uh, download that letter, review it, and you will see why that letter will work for debt collections that are not even past the legal statute of limitations. It's because it's challenging them in a way that most debt collection companies are not 
ready to uh, go through. Uh, the next one, if they continue after you send that cease and desist letter, then I want you to send letter number three, which is a debt validation letter. And uh, this will challenge every aspect about the debt and making them prove contract between you and them. If you do this the right way, you can usually stop debt collectors from proceeding with you. They will stop and probably send that back, that file back to them and have it. And it'll probably get resold again and you might have to go through the whole process again, but you'll have documentation and that will make the next debt collector that tries to come after you for the debt stop even faster. So uh, the links are below this video. If you need help with your credit, the links are below here. Please visit thecreditrepairshop.com. If you need your reports and scores, please go to the website, your the number three scores.com. And I make these videos and I know they might be repetitive for some people, but people are, are always newly being introduced to my YouTube channel. And a lot of people still do not follow the steps. That's why I do it over and over and over again. It's like exercising because when it hits, uh, a lot of people get emotional, but when they know what to do, they will cease with the emotions and they will proceed with uh, the correct way to attack that specific problem. So thank you for your time again. This is Stephen A. Williams, president and founder of the credit repair shop .com. Thank you.